Well, Bemidji's Great River Rescue will be hosting two upcoming low-cost clinics, the Pet Wellness Clinic and Pet Fixers Program, a chances for pet owners to take care of their best feline or canine friend. Mary Balstead has more. Can we sit? Good girl. Whether it's an excited wag of a tail or a content purr, animals have their ways of telling owners how they feel. Yet sometimes, high costs can halt helping furry friends. The Great River Rescue's answer to this is through offering low-cost clinics. Our services, it is a, a greatly reduced, reduced fee. So um, for a, a neuter, you might be looking at a few hundred dollars. For a spay, it might be three, four hundred dollars. And we're offering them for between sixty-five and hundred and thirty dollars. The wellness clinic will be open on March 26, and the fixers clinics are held once every month. Registration is solely online and will offer a closer look at what clinics provide. They do things such as vaccinations and of course the spaying and neutering um, and then I know that uh, they repair hernias and stuff like that on animals as well. If you go to our website greatriverrescue.com you'll see there's a pet fixers tab and then all the qualification information is listed there. Uh, typically, it's, it's that you are on some sort of government assistance program or that you meet um, certain income qualification guidelines. The demand is, is huge and that's never changed. So pre-pandemic, mid-pandemic, post-pandemic, the, the demand to get uh, animals spayed and neutered for a, a reasonable fee is, is just never, it's not going anywhere. Owners are advised to keep a close eye on their pets for the next 7 to 10 days following surgical procedures. They should limit outside play and walking. But after recovery, owners should expect a happier, healthier pet. Reporting from Bemidji, Mary Balsted, Lakeland News. Online registration for the Wellness Clinic is currently open. The Pet Fixers Clinic registration will open on March 1st. That would be tomorrow. More information can be found at the Great River Rescues website. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.